Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts. I just wanted to do a little vloggy vlog. Um, I'm going into Lowe's, as you can see. I'm going to be picking out some paint for my um, pie safe that is now currently like candy apple red. And I want to change that to where it matches my, um, my craft room decor. So I'm going to film in here, but I'm going to need to like pause the video when like people are around or things like that. So I want to make sure that I'm not filming anybody. Just got this little dog over there. All right, so we're gonna walk in. I'm gonna pause for a second and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back in. I had to actually stop that first one because I um, needed to delete some uh, pictures and whatnot. So here's like the little Halloween fall decor. I might pop back over here after I get some paint, but we'll see. We got the lighting department here, it's so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna walk. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay, I'm not trying to, I don't want to bring like attention to myself when I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but really cool stuff. Look at that one. I like that one too. Really pretty. We have some ideas picked out. We're waiting to do lighting until we actually get the flooring down and um, a couple other things. So, all right. So we got a couple little keys over here. I'm sorry you're looking at my my uh, the cart in my purse, but there's some kids up here, so I don't want to film anybody's children. So let's, oh, it's kind of busy in the paint department. Figures, the one time I want to vlog in here, there's like a thousand people. <laughs> this may not be such a great little vloggy bit, you guys. We'll see. All right, so let's look up here. I like the paints on the other side better, but I thought I'd look over here first. Um, since there's so many people on the other side. Oh, you guys are like really zoomed. There we go. Sorry, I fixed that. Okay, so we have Sassy Violet. I already have that one. Um, I think that one's really pretty. So, I already have that, but I'm going to grab this just in case. Okay, let's see. I think that's the one I just grabbed. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Um, this is kind of pretty. Sorry, you guys. This is like the worst vlog ever. Those are pretty. Ooh, Lavender, Lavender Lake. Ooh, that's pretty too. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder. Okay, let's grab that one. Let's see. Let's grab this one. Okay, Winter Amethyst and Rapture and Metropolis Lilac. I think I don't want to go quite this dark. Maybe more on this kind. So, that's really pretty too. Okay, let's grab that one. And let's see if there's another one up here that might catch my eye. I probably should have got enough nerve to go live for my phone. <laughs> you guys get it. Let me pick out the baby. Baby steps, baby steps. Okay. Utterly Violet. Vi Whoa. Violet Evening and Success. Hmm. I like those too. So this is what takes me so long. That's why I usually come to pick out paint by myself without Steve or Keely because I take so long because I want to look at everything and make sure it's, you know, stuff that I want. I need to pick out a really good white too because I'm going to be paint, repainting the inside of that in white. I already have this ultra white, so like in a sample like this, I have two of them. I only have one, one full one left. So I think I'm really going to probably stick with this one because I like how it looks. You know, it just looks really nice against the other shades of purples that I have. I don't want to do like a beige or anything or like an off-white. Like, you know, this is really pretty, but I'd rather have the white because it's not going to make my, you know, miss, I, I kind of want to make the um, inside of the pie safe white just to kind of not really draw attention to itself because I'm going to be putting in um, my vintage linens and stuff. So that's kind of my thought process behind that. So let's see here. Okay, we're going to swing over here to the other side. Oh, wait. There's a lady over there. Oops. Embarrassing. Hang on just a sec, guys. Okay, so now we're in front of the Sherwin-Williams HGTV home paint. And I accidentally turned the recording off, so I'm going to have to um, put this on my laptop to get it to go together. So that's okay. So here we have, like, the softer side. There's not a ton of purples and lilacs on this side. Uh, let's see. Ash Violet. That's pretty too, but I don't think, let me look at these while I'm trying to decide. I like that, but it's not um, kind of the right shit I'm looking for. That one's not either. Okay, so let's see here. 
this purple is that's way too too dark a purple for um, what I'm wanting to use it for it's a nice color though let's see what's this one this one is magical because purple is magical it's kind of pretty I'll grab this one probably not for my pie safe but some of my other projects that I'm gonna be doing let me swoop the card around here and I don't see any other like purpley ones that I'm too interested over here. So let's go over here. This is actually the section. This one is again still Sherwin Williams um, the color gallery. Sorry if the lighting's not very good. Um, and this is what where I got the first two or three paints uh, purples that I'm using on a couple other projects in my room. So I really like this section right here. I think this is a really good representation of the different shades of purple that I am interested in. So let's look at the hair. Let's uh, look at this berry cream. Let's take a peek at this this little swatchy swatch. Okay, so you guys can read the names. You probably don't need me to read them to you. Okay, so the berry cream, that's really pretty. I kind of like the terra, I like them all. I love these all, all four of them. But for the project I'm working on, they're just a little bit grapey, does that make sense? <laughs> I'm trying to say. Um, let's look at this one next to it. I do like that one though too. So let's grab this one. Sorry, guys, I'm not used to doing this in public. I forget to move the camera. Okay, or my phone. So this is Reflections on Plum, Purple Peacock. Yep, this is the one that I'm already using on my um, vintage sewing drawer. It's a six six um, vintage sewing drawers, like in this cabinet type of thing. And this uh, Purple Peacock is what I've used on it. And I really, really like that one. I have some of this still left for some other projects, but I think I might go with the... Um, Violet Twilight, I think, because it's kind of the same color family and they're going to be in the same room. So I know these two would work really well with each other, not be like super clashy or anything. So I think that's what I'm going to go for the ultraviolet. Let me look at a couple other ones or Violet Twilight. Mm -hmm. And because there's a bit of a line for me to um, get my paint mixed together. So I'm going to kind of take a peek at, oh, this is pretty too. This would be really pretty for some other projects, but. Focus, happy focus. Oh, I like all these too. I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> so I can put on my inspiration board. Okay, let's see what's up here. Violet Obsession. That is definitely true. I'm obsessed. So Mansion Blue. <laughs> and let's see. Serenade. I'm trying to look at my phone. Serenade. Violet Obsession and Amnestini. Amnestina? I can't say it right. I get I get it past you guys because of my um my mouth to be numb and stuff so <laughs> that's my my excuse i'm gonna stick with it um the serenade looks nice instead of the violet obsession actually let me grab the one hang on okay so here they are together let me look at these kind of over here so i can balance them on the card here bear with me bear with me Oh, I'm not even joking you. The multiple of times that we've been coming to Lowe's since we bought the house, there's like hardly anybody in this section, and now there's like a ton, which is fine. I'm not complaining. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me okay. All right, so it's upside down. Can you guys can you guys tell that vlogging is not like my strong point at this time? Point in time? <laughs> okay, here we go. So the purple peacock I really like. I also kind of like that um, violet obsession. I mean, I think all of these different colors obviously play well together. They're in the same, you know, family, of course. But, um, goodness, do I want to do the Violet Twilight or the Violet Obsession? I'm going to have to take a little look at it and, and kind of decide. I already got my white picked out, so I'm not worried about that. And then while they're mixing my paint, then I will go ahead and um, pick up the kills. I need to get a half gallon of that to cover that red. And I'm going to be pricing little hand sanders for me here too. So I will be back in just a few minutes when I have um, a decision made. And we're picking out some different things I need. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so Abby can um, obviously not work her phone. I keep, I keep shutting the video off. I'm so sorry. So I walked up to the counter, the paint counter, and they are mixing for me uh, Violet Twilight because I really love the purple peacocks I have some of that already and I'm probably going to come back and get some of the bottom one the reflection what does it say reflections on plum so I chose that one and then the white I already showed you and this finish I got is these um, eggshell 
because I don't want it to be shiny or anything. All right, so now I'm just over here trying to pick out a paintbrush. And since I'm a crafter girl, I buy like cheapo paintbrushes for my crafts and stuff. But I am, you know, these are paintbrushes I can reuse again, of course, for future projects down the road and stuff. So just a little bit different pricing. And I'm like, whoa, 14 bucks for one brush. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We've got brushes for to paint the house with. We already got them. But I kind of want to get my own separate set. And I just want to mess them up because they were not the cheapest things for sure that we got, that Steve bought, so. Um, let me see here. I'm looking more at, here like eight, seven dollars. That's kind of more what I was thinking, but I don't want that small, I don't want to trim. Let's see, what are these down here? These are seven ninety-eight. Um, that's, no, that's something, something different there. That's a kind of a nice width though. I do I want that kind of width, I think. What's this? This is a little pack here. A little kit. Let's see, three piece. I get their angled flat brush and angle brush. Does it matter if I get an angle brush? I don't think it makes a difference, right? Because this one on the far right, that's the one that would be perfect to start do the painting. And on the inside, the white one would be good for that one. This would be good for the detailed door work. I think this might work. I don't know. I'm going to take a picture and send it to Steve and see, see what he thinks. <laughs> because Abby clearly cannot pick out paintbrushes. So we'll go with this pack for right now. And before I leave the store, of course, I will send it to him, a picture to him. I'm also looking for, let's see here. I'm also looking for um, a canvas um, drop cloth. What do they call those? Yeah, drop cloths. Because I am wasting so much money. I've spent more than $16 on the stupid cheap ones from um, Dollar Tree and the you know, and the ones from Walmart. That aren't a dollar, but a little bit more than that. And so I think I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy this one for myself. Um, I mean, Steve can use it too, of course, but I'm the, the one that's going to be like painting different projects and um, not just decor my craft room, but when I, you know, make things to, to upcycle them and sell them, that kind of stuff. So this one is only, this is the cheapest one. $16.98. I think that's going to be plenty big enough for me. I don't need something massive. So if I decide this isn't big enough, then um, I, of course, can bring it back. So, all right, so we'll grab that too. Moving on, moving on. Let's see. Hang on just a second here. Ooh, the spray paints. an obstacle course in here today. This, the big old thing down there and all these things in the aisle. Okay. <laughs> I had to stop talking because people are walking by me. <laughs> Maybe they think I'm just talking to like, you know, a friend on the phone or something. Which I am because you guys are all, ladies and gents, are all my friends, of course. Oh, I need to get that kill stuff to paint over that red. Now, the paint I'm getting, um, it does have primer in it, but Steve said uh, it'd be better for me to get um, the kills paint primer because that red is pretty red and there's more than a couple coats on at least at least two coats from when he picked it off so he thought it'd be better if I got that so I wouldn't be pulling my hair out when it I see red coming through my purple <laughs> so I bought this color at Walmart I haven't used it yet these are the two I usually get one of those two so all right I'm gonna pause for a second to like or, or turn it off but it doesn't matter <laughs> I'll, I'll clip it all together um, while I drive try to go find the kills paint and a sander. I have myself a little list right here, so I'll be back in just a few. Okay, so here you are. It's a terrible name for that product, but I understand why, but okay, so I want to get probably one of this size since I got that pie safe, and then I have some other pieces too I want to that are for our um, house decor, so I think this is the size I want, but let me see here. I may have to take a picture again and send it to Steve and ask him which one is the one I need. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I sent a picture of um, the different kills cans and as well as a picture of the paintbrush set to see if that's good um, for what I want to do. Um, let's see here. We need to go look for the, the sander. Let's go this way. I think this is the right way. I think. Might 
be going the wrong way, you guys. Sorry, I'm trying not to film other people. Let's see if I'm going the wrong way. Okay, yeah, because I'm not seeing. This is what I want to show you guys when I'm walking around, but like I said, there's a bunch of people in here, so I wouldn't want somebody filming me if I didn't know about it. So let's see. I don't see. Oh, while we're over here. Let me show you the doors we're going to get for our pantry in the kitchen. We have um, two pantries in our kitchen, and one we're using to obviously put like you know canned goods and th things like that, and then the other one um, holds like our other kitchen appliances that we do don't necessarily want out on the counter every single day. So, and I know this isn't like a new thing because my sister had got this door for her house like eons ago. A second here. I'm not sure why my phone is like. I, I don't have it zoomed in, but it feels like it's a really tight shot. So anyway, so here's the, the door. It's like frosted glass, and it says pantry. You can see it better if I stand in front of it. Yeah, so pantry. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? I've always loved that in my sister's house. So we're going to come get two of these once we um, paint the kitchen cabinets, because we're going to be painting them white. This is cool, too. I like how that looks. So, okay, I digress. I'll bet it's up here in the front, maybe, because I see some other power tools. Let's take a gander. I'm trying to look like I know what I'm doing so nobody asks me if I need help. <laughs> so, we're looking at getting a new front door too, but we aren't sure which, um, you know, which design. We definitely want like a, um, a window on it, but not so um, open that people can see in. So, all right, I don't think I'm in the right spot here either. Let's see. Um, these like saws and stuff and drills. Well, let's walk down this way. Um, so Steve gave me like, you know, because I'm not like a um, contract guy or whatever, you know, so I, I don't need like this fancy pants sander. I just want a basic round sander. Um, what did Steve call it? Let me look my little cheek. Orbital sander. And he said if it's a certain price, if it's over a certain price, he said, you know, go to Walmart and pick it up. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let me look here for a second. Lasers. Um. Well, I was going to ask, but they're talking about something. Um, let's see, tool belts, hand saws. How about I come back on when I actually find them? Because this cannot be interesting for you. <laughs> back in just a second. Success, I found them. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Don't, definitely don't need that price point. <laughs> I'm just doing, you know, with my, my little crafty stuff. So, let's see here. Here's a Black & Decker one. It's only $30. Steve told me my, my price point would be out. You know, not to spend more than 25 around there, um, or 30, just because I just need like a really, because he's worried that I would come in here and have somebody try to talk me into buying this one, and I don't need that one. So that's why they're, or like this one. So that's not, that's why he was kind of giving me a price point, because Abby doesn't know how to price this kind of stuff, because I just don't. So let's see. Um, finishing sander, filter system. I don't know, you guys. Quarter sheet sander. I have no idea what this stuff means. I'm going to have to call Steve. So I'll be back again in a second. Okay, so I sent Steve pictures, and this is the one he wants. To, he said this would be a good fit for me. So I'm getting this Porter cable one. Cute little suction bag in the back. And um, I'm going to walk over. Um, actually, I'm going to walk past the paint section to see if my paint's there and if it's ready. And if it is, I'll grab it. Uh, let's see here. And then the last thing I need to get on my list is just looking at getting some sandpaper. I probably won't film that because that is that is not interesting. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to head to Walmart and get a few household things. So I, I won't be vlogging that part. Not much fun watching me buy laundry soap and the like. Okay, so let's go back down here to the paints. Sorry, there's like a ton of people. Okay, I don't see my paint yet. Okay, so I need to go by here anyway to go pick up the sandpaper. Oh wait, this is right here. 
Here it is. Yay, my paints. So excited, you guys. This is going to be awesome. Okay. I'll get those in the cart. And last one. A couple paint sticks. My swatches. And we are good to go. Alright, so let's go get some sandpaper. And then I might get a different size of that canvas. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't decided. So alright, so I will come back on when I'm loading the stuff in the car because this this is going to be like really boring, I think, picking out sandpaper and watching me wait in line, that kind of stuff. So, all right. So, um, I will check back in with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so, I thought it might be kind of fun to walk through the ceiling fans in the light section. Um, we're definitely going to be putting ceiling fans in our, in the master, actually all the rooms. Steve's office, the master bedroom, um, downstairs in the living room, and um, one in uh, Kaylee's room. And... We had these in Florida, of course, and I, we love them. <laughs> I'm always hot, so we are just picking out some different colors and finishes and stuff for for the house. And I'm probably no, I don't know. I can have one in my craft room, actually. No, I have one in my last craft room, the one in Florida, and it was fine. But I would have to turn it off when I was cutting, you know, some of the um, different things I had, like when I was doing a project with feathers. <laughs> I didn't think to turn that off before I just started working on them and they flew all over my room <laughs> now they were purple so I didn't care too much but you know so okay there's people right there so I'm trying to not show them oh look at these lampshade covers these are so cute so cute I have fabric like this so I know I could probably do this myself that is really cute though I like it sometimes I will pay for convenience especially being a crafter because <laughs> um, it seems like when I'm trying to work on projects for myself or a house they um, always fall last which is totally fine because I love making projects for the people so I'm not sure if I like that um, lamp right there it's kind of weird not weird I shouldn't say weird in case somebody likes it just not my style I should say okay now let's see what's over here just more lampshades I got some people across the way I used to have a lamp like this it was probably about um, maybe four and a half five feet tall and I stupidly sold it. I'm actually going to reach out to the lady that bought it for me because I um, I know her and ask if she wants to um, sell that back to me if she ever does decide to sell it. I don't know why I did it. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, well, actually, it was right before my brain surgery, so I guess that was my good my good excuse. So <laughs> I still wish I wouldn't have I've sold it. I love those cages right there, those light cages. Definitely going to be putting some Edison lights in the house. Um, we're getting the um, back patio done here pretty soon, covering the back patio. And then we're going to put a ceiling fan out there. And then we're going to um, get those Edison lights and install them um, and on the, the back patio. I think it looked really cool. So there's just some people over there. It's really cool lights, you guys. I've grabbed a bunch of different cards. We like those a lot. Um, but you know, we haven't decided 100%. And I'm definitely going to be getting a chandelier in my craft room. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to actually look for a full vintage one, which is what I would prefer. But sometimes those things are like super, super expensive. Or if I want to get one that's already, um, you know, like new but looks old. Happy fall, y'all. These pillows are cute. So excited. Um, Emily's coming over again tomorrow. We're going to work some more on our fall crafts. I just wanted to walk through here real quick to see um, if they had any more like fall type stuff while I was here. I'm getting ready to head to the checkout. Okay. I already got it. We bought our floor mat from them for our front door. There are certain things I'm not going to film because I don't even like looking at them and I don't want to gross anybody else out either. So, so here we have some of the fake pumpkins. I don't know how much these are though. Let's see. Does it say? Okay, see these are, oops, like 10 bucks. That seems really pricey to me for this. Um, I'm probably going to just go and get some real ones when um, we uh, um, go to get real pumpkins for the house. <laughs> anyway, so Emma's coming over and we're going to be working on, oh, look at that cute pumpkin pillow though. We're going to be working on some more of the fall projects. So hopefully this weekend I'll be able to put up my, um, 
decorate my porch and I'll film it. When I see stuff like this, I always think of the movie Big with Tom Hanks. Maybe that's what it's that that's what it's stemmed from. I don't know. But I think that's kinda cool. I wouldn't want to buy it, but I think it's kinda cool. I like this bench too. I'm trying to find some front porch furniture we want we want to have out there, but anyway. Look at the little pumpkin. It's a cute little stack. Okay, I'm getting ready to go to the checkout, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for here. Um, I, I might show you in the car what I put in the trunk. I don't know, we'll see if that's a, even something I'll remember to do. But anyway, <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, that was like the weirdest um, check I've ever had. Um, had the, a gentleman that called me over because there was a line where I was standing in, and every single thing that I had, he put it right, right back like in the car, and I'm like, oh, can I have please have a bag for those items and he didn't hear me and so I asked him again he goes you want all these items in a bag and I said well yeah he goes even the paint and I was like well yes please I mean I have, I have like 30 separate <laughs> separate things I don't want to pack in 30 individual things I thought it was kind of weird because all the times that Steve and I come here it's never an issue like like see this he, he didn't want to put those in a bag I'm like but it's not really your choice and it's I'm the customer I want them to be so Instead of getting more aggravated with them, I just kind of put, you know, so that's fine. So I got this magazine. I typically don't buy magazines too much because there's Pinterest, but I love this one here. So I'm really excited to sit down and flip through this. Maybe we'll do like a little um, flea market style magazine kind of a flip through with you guys. It'd be kind of fun when I'm having like my morning cup of tea or coffee, whichever. Just got a, um, a um, Keurig latte one. So I can kind of digging on my tea or my coffee right now but anyway all right so i am done here and i'm just gonna put the cart back and then i will be home you guys so i'm probably not going to get to this project where's the cart run i like to put the carts back but i don't see a cart run so i guess we'll just do it here um uh what I'm, gonna say? I'm not going to get started on this project till tomorrow but of course this video will go up before that because i'll get it up on my channel tonight uh let's see here get the keys out so I'm gonna go and close out here sorry um, for all the um, multiple multiple clips oh, look at the stuff they have over here that's pretty I didn't walk over there so I'm not kidding you guys <laughs> when I come here or any of the store I never have people around me or um, there's a van coming so I'm trying to not look at them um, so I come out to the car and there's a gentleman that is um, Park next to me in a white van, which is fine. It's a parking lot, Abby, but he has his motor run. Now he's backing out, so I feel like everybody's been close around me today, I'm, and I'm trying to vlog, <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> I get nervous because I don't really do this out in public. I just, you know, do it in my craft room, so anyway, I'm going to close out on the Lowe's building, and I will see you guys in my next video, so thanks for watching. Happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!